another book haul. Uh, this is way out of control. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and I find my paradise through reading. So welcome if you are here for the first time or welcome back. I have another book haul um, and I've come to the realization that my no buy or no acquiring books during the month of February was probably not a great idea because come March 1st, I went nuts. So I probably bought more than I would have purchased otherwise if I would have just maybe bought a book every now and then. But by March 1st, I just had a whole list of books that I wanted and so many books that I had seen. And I just, I had that buildup of like, wanting to buy books that like yeah I went ham and um so I had already gotten some books what I've got like eight books um on March 1st and this is Saturday what the third or the fourth I don't even know what day it is and my Amazon deliveries uh came so without further ado let's do this okay uh, even though like I know what's here it's just always so exciting first oh one book that I did not get through Amazon I got it at a little free library I was walking through the park and there was a little free library and I was like oh okay like we're in March I'm allowed to visit little free libraries and and take something out if I want to and there wasn't much in that little free library but I found Oh my goodness, like, I was so excited to find this book there, Frida, by Barbara Mujica. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, um, but if you don't, anyone who doesn't know, Frida was this just super famous um, artist. I think she was like half Mexican, half Dutch or something like that. She was... Yeah, she had like a really, really interesting life. Her paintings were so bizarre. And unfortunately, most people know her by her unibrow. <laughs> and there was a movie made of her life. Um, and Selma Hayek, she played Frida during that um, for that movie. So I'm excited. This is beautiful. I love this book. There's got some wear and tear. Um, but I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. This is really cool. And I'm just, I'd be so happy to read her story. And this is um, a fiction, you know, so I'm sure that this is going to be a fiction that I absolutely enjoy. Um, so I'm going to have to squeeze this into my TBR um, this year somehow. Okay, now to the grand openings of these packages. See, I have some, uh, they're in my lap. <laughs> so, oh mercy. Oh, and I have like a number of packages, like more packages coming um, because I ordered some books that were not on Amazon. I think they were on thrift books or something. Um, so at least I was trying to save some money here and there, but you know. You know, if I can find them used and it's comparatively priced, not comparatively priced, but if it's worth the savings, then I'll buy it. But a lot of the books that I would I would check um, for used books first and they would be like $3.99. And I was like, oh, well, that's a pretty good price. But then they're like plus $5 shipping. Well, now it's $9 and the brand new one was $9.99 on Amazon. So what do you think I'm going to pick? Come on. So that's the way it is. They get you with the shipping sometimes and then it just doesn't work out financially. So first book is ta -ta -ta, Hunter x Hunter, volume three by Yoshihiro Togashi. If you guys have been following me, I have been, I started reading the Hunter x Hunter manga and I read one and two, and I am excited 
to continue with the series. Um, oh, look at the cover. <laughs> what is that thing? That's just so cute. <laughs> it's been, oh gosh, it's been so good. It's been like so much better than I really thought it was. And this is like thicker. This looks like it's a quite a bit thicker. I don't have another one to compare it to, but this is going to be a little bit of a longer read. And it looks like there's a lot going on in this one. So that's that one. Package numero dos. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what's in this one. Not 100% sure. I have an idea. Let's see. Oh my gosh. No, I gotta see it first. Sorry, guys. Bride of the Sea by Emma Ham. Guys, look. Oh, and just like the other books, it's got that really buttery cover. It's flippy, floppy, beautiful. Oh, wow. And this is a Little Mermaid retelling. So if you guys have been following my channel, I've read um the first two books what are the other world series i think this is called by emma ham and so the first one was the heart of the fae and i was just obsessed like absolutely in love with it and then it went on to part two of heart of the fae which was um what was it vain something with veins the veins of magic okay so there was a heart of the fae and part two the story continued into the second book called veins of magic so it ended we're good with sorka and aemon the two main characters so this starts another story in that same pretty much world and these kind of so sur they're surrounded by um irish folklore um fairy tales and so they have um, a lot of like really interesting creatures. This one is, oh my goodness. So the Heart of the Fae, those two books, it was kind of a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And so this one is a Little Mermaid retelling and I cannot wait to read this. I'm adding this onto my TBR this month, as well as the Hunter Hunter. I'm trying to continue with all of these series that I've started with the Hunter Hunter, the Vampire Chronicles, Emma Ham's other world series, um, The Ways of the House Husband. I have like so many going on and I want to at least put, uh, complete at least one book in the series each month because I feel like if I spread it too far apart, then I'll forget. Um, and I already feel like it's been too long since I read Hunter Hunter volume two because I'm trying to like remember where we were in his uh journey to becoming a hunter um so i'm gonna have to flip through it to remind myself so i don't want to space these too far apart okay so la, la, la. so i worry about like having all of these series going on because i don't want every month to be reading we're just like talking about like the same books in the same series because you know but Oh, this is a box of goodies. There's all kinds of goodies. There's books and everything. <laughs> okay. I'll just pick this up. That didn't happen. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. This is all. Oh, oh, oh. This feels like Christmas. Okay. What do I get? The Queen of the Damned. This is the third book in the vampire chronicles by Anne rice uh oh i don't know this this is small my other books in the vampire chronicles were a lot bigger and i want them to match i'm trying to collect the set so this is going to look really weird on the bookshelf um Urgh. I'm gonna check Barnes and Noble and see if they have like a full size book of this because if they do then I'll return this to Amazon and I'll get the bigger book because no I don't want a mismatched collection um I'm enjoying the series so much and the bigger books are like super flippy floppy and beautiful and this just 
doesn't do it for me. <laughs> so, but uh, maybe I should have read the description better. I don't know. <gasps> the way of the house husband. What's his volume? Oh my god. Oh, he looks so awesome. Oh, this, okay, this one's volume three. The way of the house husband. Uh, look at him in the back. Like, seriously, can you even take him seriously anymore? Like, this um, follows Tatsu. He was super hardcore gang guy. He was in the Yakuza, and he was called the Immortal Dragon. He was, like, one of the most famous gang members and so vicious and violent. And he gave up his gang life to be a house husband to his wife, Miku. And, oh, Miko. I think it's Miko. But he's freaking hilarious. The series is freaking hilarious. And, oh, I think I only read the first book so far. And so, this is volume three. I think I ordered volume two used. I was able to find a deal on that. So, wow. I have Hunter x Hunter volume six. So that leads me to believe that I must have purchased volumes three. Oh, you know what? Here's five of Hunter Hunter six. So I must have purchased three, four, five, and six. Um, that makes sense. I mean, reading one Hunter Hunter book a week to keep me up to date. Uh, I can see that happening. Okay. So, okay, here I have double-headed porous pen markers. Okay. So these I just saw, I thought it might be cool to try. These are markers that roll. Let me see it. And they make designs. Um, let me see if I can try it out on something. I'm curious. Okay, so it's got a regular tip. Let me see it. Then it should have a rolly tip on the other end. It does. And let me grab my Korean homework here. I think I just Okay, I'm gonna make a line across and show you guys. Oh, this is cool. Oh wow. Okay, let me get this over. Oh I'm just sliding it straight across, guys. And then me. Oh, what other designs do they have? Let me see. Okay, let's do one more. This pink one has hearts on it. So which way do the hearts go? This way, okay. So I'll make a line across. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, you can see it's just rolls. Focus, 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 whatever. You see the idea. Let me see. No, that's not gonna work. But this is cool. I got this for my scrapbooking and for my planner. I like to decorate and keep things cute and fun. So, oh, I didn't think they would work that well, honestly. Oh my God, I'm so pleased. So I got that. And all of this is from Amazon, so. For my uh, scrapbooking and journaling, I have the sticker tweezers. So it's it's the straight ones and the curved ones and they come in a case. So those always come in handy. I got new wire clips for my journals and these I use um, when I'm opening a journal. Okay, I'll show you. I have my one here that you guys probably already saw. So when I am working on a page spread, 
And to keep it nice and flat, get these things out of here. To keep it nice and flat so I can work on it better, I'll use these clips. How did they get these things in here? Okay. This is different packaging than I'm used to, so. <sighs> we'll just do one side. So you'll take this and you can clip it to the top or if it's like big enough, you can put it in the side, but this size clips, I'll usually just clip one across the top and then I'll clip one across the top this way and it'll just kind of keep it on that page. So that's what I got these for. What else did I get? Ooh, just some extra double-sided tape for my scrapbooking and journaling. I am all out of tape. So we'll do that. Oh, oh, that's cute. Oh, oh, talk to me in Korean, level one. I, um, yeah, I have like so many, because I am learning Korean. I am a polyglot. I speak English, Spanish, some French, um, and now I'm learning Korean. And so Korean's the newest language for me. I also read a little bit um, of American, not read, but speak a little bit of American Sign Language. Let me see if I can just get this. Okay. But anyways, so I wanted like a workbook for my Korean. So here's Talk to Me in Korean. They have like a wonderful website to follow if you're trying to learn. Oh, look at that. So I'm just so excited about this. I forgot I ordered this. You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Like, I went ham on March 1st. Like, no regrets, but still, I have no self-control whatsoever. Okay. And this is some more scrapbooking supplies. So, hmm. Let me see if I can open this up and take out some of the content. I don't 100% remember which kit I got. I like to buy scrapbooking supplies and kits whenever I can. So I have like a lot of different options. They have all kinds of things and they usually match really nicely together. So you can see it's kind of got that beige brown vintage theme, which I like the best. Mm. That is totally my vibe. Totes my vibe. Oh, um, we got these. So I have a whole bunch of these cards. These are all the same. Ooh. Okay, so this one came with a journal. It has the removable cover this is what it looks like and it is graph oh I love that I didn't know that this was gonna be like graph paper and look how thick it is there's so many pages um that's that's pretty fantastic I mean I was expecting like a really thin little notebook um with plain pages maybe, but this is really nice. Okay, me. I'm gonna be playing with this stuff for the rest of the day. Oh, oh, look. So we have, oh, have a good time. It's tickets for good times. Tobacco company invoice kind of thing. I think this was Maybe it's supposed to go with these. Maybe it like slipped out of the holder. Because they were all kind of together. Then we have, ooh, two rolls of washi tape. Lovely. We have, I don't know if these are stickers or uh, you have to put the glue on yourself. So I don't know if they're peeled back or not, but it's a little bag. There's 
little different designs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh wow, look how lovely. Oh. Oh. My goodness gracious, goodness gracious. This is too much fun stuff. Oh, little ones. Okay. Uh, I'm a mess, I tell ya. You know all those chores I was supposed to do today? It's not gonna happen. Ooh, look at these. They are so delicate. So there's just like a whole little envelope full of these little stickers. They're all numbered. I don't know if there's supposed to be representative of days. Maybe it goes up to 31st. Okay, so that's that. Oh my goodness. Look at these. And they're perforated here so you can rip one off. And they're just all different designs. Oh my gosh. I am such a sucker for like scrapbooking and books and papers and oh my God. So more papers. Okay, we have the, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Holy Hannah. You know. um, so we have the circle stickers, different colors. We have them in this pattern. We have these, we have these, I oh, can't see. This with Japanese writing. Would have been cool if it was Korean. I think it's Japanese. That's not my forte, but if it was Korean, I would be able to tell. <laughs> oh, okay, last one. I believe these are stickers, they're pretty shiny, so. In the back. They're stickers, I know they're stickers. Yep, they're stickers. Perfect. Oh. Life was like a box of chocolates. You're, you've given me a taste for life. I will live as you like. Miracles happen every day. Love is the one thing that transcends time and space. So these are probably these Japanese ones in English, so little sayings. We have some full size sheets of papers, different patterns. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms are popular. That's a popular place. Oh, look at that. Okay, and uh, all of this was in this tiny little box. Believe it or not, tiny little box. Okay, so we have these two envelopes. They're empty, just cute. Like maybe you can just like put your like little stickers in here. Oh my gosh, that was that. That was one Amazon box. And another one. Oh, I'm sorry this video is so long guys, but there's like, I don't wanna, I want you to miss out on some of these goodies, goodies. this set this if you're not familiar with it um, if you for wax seals you know um, when 
people used to seal their envelopes with a wax seal. They'll pour wax and they'll put a stamp in it. Okay, so this kit is to melt your wax. So here's the little thing. It's got the little pourry spot, spot there so you can control where you pour it. And then, and, because, and I got this because wax does take a little bit of time to melt. So when you don't have a stand to set it on, you're kind of just like holding it over a flame, like waiting. And it feels like it takes forever. It really feels like it takes forever. Um, so, and here's the stand. So basically, you put a little tea light candle here. This rests on top, you pour your three or four little pieces of wax. What do they call them? Pellets in there. And then you can keep scrapbooking while your wax is melting. So that's what that looks like. I'm so, uh, okay. Which brings me to this last piece today. And I'm pretty sure this is my, this might be my stamping set and uh, quill pen or something. <laughs> oh, I don't remember getting this, but maybe it's part of the set. Another journal, I guess. <laughs> but I have so many things, which is fine. Ooh, look. Get that charm out of here. Okay. So it's got that kind of charm. Okay. okay. It's a journal with rings and brownish pages. I like it. It's cute. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of journals with the binder rings. Um, I don't even like the sound. Look. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but it's, it's nice. And I will use it regardless. So I got that. I think it came with this set. Look at this box. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. I I used to do a lot of scrapbooking. Um, and I had like all kinds of scrapbooks and it was just, I was really passionate about it. And I probably haven't done much of it in the last couple of years. And I'm really getting back into it. Um, so that's kind of like why I went nuts buying like all this like scrapbooking and wax seals and bouncing pens and things like that because it's just so much fun to play with. So there's that. Oh, this box is definitely a keeper. So this is like just an empty envelope. Some stationery. It says love. Oh, I can write someone a little love letter. Whoa. So it looks like everything kind of didn't spill all over the place. Let me put these things back in their places. And hopefully when I show you, it is not going to all fall out. Okay. Now. Okay, look at this set. So what it has, it does come with a little wax uh, melter, but it didn't. this set did not come with a stand. That's why I ordered a stand. Um, it has this feathered fountain pen. Then it has this fountain pen without the feather, just like a regular one. A letter opener. Two jars of wax melt pellets, I call them pellets, um, different tips, 
for you, the tip of your pen, so you can change them depending on how you want your writing to look. Uh, this is a jar of ink. This is a holder. It'll hold your pen and your jar of ink. So when you're done, you dip it, you write, and then when you're done writing, you slide the pen into here. Uh, this is a stamper for the wax. So there's already a design screwed on here, but over here you can change what kind of design you want to stamp on your seal, use as a seal. So it's got a couple different designs. It's got, you know, the screw. So you screw it on, melt the color wax you want. So we have like some pastel-y colors. I don't see myself using those as much, but then we have like the browns and um, deeper warm, like more warm colors. So. Let's see, this is cute. This one's a, like a heart. Oh man, and then it comes with a little tea light. Wait, oh, good. Pen fell out so I can show you. Gotta fix the feathers. Isn't that weird? I'm not a fan of the steampunk kind of design. Look at that. I wanted something a little more like classic and vintage, um, but this set came with a lot more. It had a lot more options and it was really decently priced. I think it came with the journal, the box, um, all of this stuff, a little jar of ink, everything for maybe 15 bucks, I don't know, 30, I don't remember, but look. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to uh, do a video one time and show you guys how I use uh, fountain pens, um, how I journal like a scrapbook and maybe show you like a page, show you a little bit of the waxing. I know my channel is not about arts and crafts or scrapbooking but that's okay like this is all fun stuff like <laughs> it's all paper paper and books and notebooks I love it all and when it comes to crafting that's my thing um I I knit I crochet I do cross stitches I do organic vegetable gardens and put up my harvest um I just do so much and my uh interests and hobbies just span all over the place um so it's fun to share with you what i just this is gonna go on my vanity i swear this is beautiful i do like come on you can't oh you just can't like <laughs> that's just that's just too cute let me see if i can pull out the yeah careful with the nib so here's the other one. Look at that. So, and then these tips, they come out and can be replaced, like I said. Here's the jar of the wax. Hold on. And you want to use like three or four of these to um, put in your little wax melter ladle uh, i guess i don't know what you call it but and then you can even mix up the color so you don't have to have three of the same color you can get like a gold a burgundy a purple mix it up and see what it looks like melt it all together um and then you'll with three or four you have enough wax to completely cover your seal um let me see pull this seal out because i want to show you that and then I will finish up this video because it's long. But this is just so cool. I mean, if I just unscrew it because this is just not coming out. I don't know how they get these things in here. If it were my job to put things in these things, I would get fired because, like, 
I don't have that kind of patience. Okay, so I'm screwing this back on. This looks like flowers, maybe. Like a bouquet of flowers on the end. So, yeah. What, melt the wax, pour it on your envelope or in your scrapbook, whatever you're doing, and then press it down into the wax. You don't pull it off right away. You let it sit there for about, I forget how many seconds, five, 10 seconds. If you pull it off right away, it's gonna pull the wax up with it. So you just press it down and leave it sit and then you can pull it up and your seal will be there. So thank you so much for sharing this unboxing with me. This was a super exciting, super special. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to play with absolutely everything. And I am going to read some Hunter Hunter. I'm going to keep reading, oh my gosh, book two, or the prequel of Day of Fall and Night. I started that and I can't say anything about it yet. I can't. I'm not going to. I'm going to give it at least a week before I mention how that's going, but I am liking it so far. But and he's like, Mwah. thank you guys so much for bearing with me and letting me share all of these goodies with you because I have zero self-control. Okay. <laughs> Bye.